Alicante, town by town. Elche. The Levantine palm, the column that walks, the palm tree, the palm tree. The Levantine palm, the one that looks over the marina, the Mediterranean was the first to catch the first burst of spring, the first swallow. The palm tree, a plant that inspired verses like these to the poet Miguel Hernández is present in every corner of Elche, where there are more than 200,000 palms, which the people of Elche have managed to preserve and take care of. Palm plantations are spread over large tracts of land and are called huertos. Amongst them, El Parque Municipal, where stands a building of Arab style, which accommodates the visitor reception center. The restored Molino del Real. And El Huerto de San Placido. Here, you can visit the museum where the history of the origin and development of palm grove is told. And one can learn about the craftsmanship of the white palm, so linked to Palm Sunday. A short distance from the historical center is El Huerto del Cura, a place of exotic beauty where palm trees share space with a variety of cacti and other plants. They also grow on the banks of the Vinalopó riverbed, which runs through the city, and is crossed by numerous bridges and walkways, such as El Pont de Altamira, Canalejas, or El Pont del Pimil Lenari, amongst others. The unique layout of Elche an oasis amongst palm trees makes it a destination for many tourists. An attraction that lies in the rich heritage that preserves all of the cultures which, over the centuries, have lived here. Iberians, Romans, and the Arabs who settled in this current location. an influx of people that is facilitated by good communications, especially by the Alicante Elche Airport, located in the hamlet of El Altet Elche. Part of this historical legacy can be seen in the archaeological site of Lalcudia, a little over two kilometers south of the city center where the ancient Iberian Roman city of Iliki was located. If something has given the city a worldwide reputation, it has undoubtedly been La Dama Delch, a masterpiece of Iberian art discovered at this site. A magnificent sculpture whose original can be found in the National Archaeological Museum in Madrid and which the Elicitanos demand be returned to the city to which it belongs. A look back at the past that can be enhanced at the Museum of Archaeology and History of Elche, which bears the name of local archaeologist Alejandro Ramos Folques. The headquarters of this new museum is in El Palacio de Altamira, also known as the Alcázar de la Señoría, a fortress of Arab origin, which was the object of numerous reforms over the centuries, and whose most outstanding element is La Torre del Homenaje, where a replica of La Dama de Elche is exhibited. 
Close to this historical building is the center of what was the walled town, is La Basilica de Santa Maria, which was built between the 17th and 18th centuries. The main facade, that of La Asuncion, is a beautiful example of the Baroque. Its bell tower serves as a viewing point from which to contemplate the urban center and the extensive plantations of palm trees. Inside, every year on the 14th and 15th of August, the representation of El Misteri, or Festa Delch, is celebrated. a choral drama of medieval origin that narrates the ascension to heaven and the coronation of the Virgin Mary. This sacramental, whose songs resonate in the hearts of the Ilicitanos, was included by UNESCO in the category of Masterpieces of the Oral and Intangible Heritage of Humanity. Traces of Elche's Islamic past will also be found in the defensive tower of La Calahorra, next to the Basilica, which was part of the old wall and was erected at the end of the 13th century. And in the ancient Convento de la Merced, in whose basement one could find the Arab baths built around 1150 and which were rehabilitated and opened to the public in 1998. Following the route through the old town, we find the town hall, built between the 16th and 17th centuries. One can see La Torre del Consejo, which is the central body of the town hall, on whose ground floor a great arc serves as a passageway between the squares of Baish, outside, and of Dalt, inside the walled city. Forming part of the town hall stands a small bell tower, popularly known as Torre de Calandura, in which in 1572 a clock was installed. But in addition, Elche has numerous cultural centers and museum spaces of undoubted interest. Amongst them, El Museo de la Festa, where elements are shown related to the Misteri of Elch. El Paleontológico, unique in the province of Alicante. Or the Center for Traditional Culture, El Museo Escolar de Pusol. The latter, also recognized by UNESCO, collects the history of ancient trades and customs of the districts of Campo de Elche. Its municipal area is located in a plain crossed by the final section of the Vinalapo riverbed, which dams up its waters in the Elche Reservoir and supplies the network of ditches that are distributed throughout El Campo Delche. The water flow of the river is almost a testament to its passage through the city, 
before getting lost in the wetlands that extend near to the coastal strip. These places, such as the natural park of El Ondo, considered to be a special protection area for birds, or El Clot del Gavagne, classified as one of the most important biodiversity centers, form part of the natural spaces that exist in the municipality of Elche. In addition, on the coast, we find magnificent beaches of fine sand and large areas of dunes with a high ecological value. Amongst them, those of La Tete, Los Arenales del Sol, and El Carabasí. Elche, with more than 2,000 years of history, is a place full of attractions. This was recognized by illustrious travelers such as Hans Christian Andersen, who, in 1862, found himself enamored by its valley overflowing with fruits, its immense palm groves, the largest and most beautiful in Europe, the most paradisiacal in all of Spain. <laughs> <laughs> 